Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Maxime Lafarge from TUI Innovant. So microscopy imaging can uh, reveal a lot of information about the state of cells. Actually, biologists acquire such images to solve an, um, some uh, biomedicine problems. They acquire such images and um, analyze um, how different populations of cells that are treated under different chemical conditions or that express different genetic uh, expression, um, how does it differ uh, morphologically. Um, still, biologists can still use the help of tools that can uh, automatically quantify such variations and that help support to visualize uh, those uh, different uh, factors of variation. So um, a popular approach to, for this task is the cell profiling pipeline. So the method consists in uh, first extracting all the single cells uh, that are available in the data set. Um, then second step is to uh, generate a profile that captures the variations uh, for each of those extracted patch. And finally to uh, aggregate all this information in order to obtain a um, profile at the population level that can be then, um, then, then um, compared uh, and used uh, to compare different populations. Um, generating profiles uh, is still an open problem. Uh, although state-of-the-art deep learning methods to generate profiles um, can produce good performances for downstream analysis, um, none of them is able to uh, reconstruct high-quality images from a profile. Um, this is why uh, we investigated the use of variational autoencoder for the task of cell profiling. But we also wanted to tackle um, the, limited, the limitation known uh, for variational autoencoder to produce blurry uh, reconstructions. Um, this is why um, we propose to use a discriminator network to classify between uh, real uh, images and blurry reconstruction, and to use the uh, internal activations of this discriminator to complement the reconstruction um, objective of the variational autoencoder. Uh, we trained the proposed model uh, using a popular benchmark uh, data set that uh, is made of um, cell samples that were treated under uh, 100 different uh, chemical conditions. And um, as a result, um, our model is... Um, okay, it's supposed to be... Um, our model is... Uh, have accuracy performances in line with uh, classical methods, but has the advantage of being fully unsupervised and to um, produce uh, high quality reconstruction. Uh, and thus we propose um, a new type of tool for biologists to probe and explore um, variation in, um, in uh, heterogeneous uh, cell populations. Thank you.